Hello, Sage here on the Sage channel, and we're back for some more singular survival. Our plan for today is, well, to simply test out this drill thing. You can see between episodes, I've gone ahead and finished welding up all of the drills here. I found out also that we did have the maximum block count thing turned on, block limits. So I turned that off, so if we want to keep on adding more drills or whatnot, we can. But for the time being, I haven't added any more than previously. I did add in a control station and a connector here, so we can stay connected. And I guess the only thing left to really do is just get to work on this. So we're going to hop into here. Go ahead and pop ourselves into Spectator. That way we can plop our camera somewhere around here. And we'll go ahead and just see if we can mine down into this without everything blowing up. You can see I've also already set up our hotbar there. I am going to go ahead and do a control 2. Press G and we're going to say... Mm, decrease velocity and increase velocity. Uh, if I can find the button, there it is. As well as toggle block on and off. So that way we can go ahead and control the spin from here. We're going to drop the speed. Oh, it's not as incremental as I would have liked. Brilliant. Well, anyway, you can see this is our current speed. I think it's a bit too fast for us. No Sage Cam today. If you're curious, I'm leaving Sage Cam offline. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just try those speed buttons we just set up, which seem to have clear. Oh, they were on control three on accident. Okay. Anyway, we'll decrease speed. That should have been the other way. Yeah, see, we can't get it into uh, smaller increments than we already have, so you know, have to do it the old-fashioned way, which uh, means making sure we spell rotor correctly. Now, I've named a lot of these things teeth, because it's sort of like the teeth that are going to be attached to the bottom of the flying virus. And all is set and done. And we're going to do negative 0.5 and see if it takes that. Goody, goody. Uh, in fact, we're going to do negative 0.35, so it should be pretty dang slow. We're now going to go ahead and do a control one and turn, uh, control two actually, I guess it's gonna have to be, and turn on all of our drills. Toggle blocks on and off, there we go, and turn those on. Alrighty, so far so good. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit scared. I did save before all this. Um, I guess we could quick save right now, but uh, we haven't really done anything since I saved last, so let's not. Let's go ahead now and very slowly tell one of these groups of pistons to extend themselves. All right, let's turn those off. Make sure we can see where the first impact's going to be. It's probably right around here. Back on. Uh, now I think if we go ahead and increase the speed on these, it'll go back down to that super slow speed. Yeah, okay. So once again, get these a bit lower. So we can sort of judge the distance it needs to go. Oh, sugar, I'm so scared. So many buttons. Okay, let's go ahead and up that speed again as well. That seems way too fast. Let's just go that way. God almighty, why does it have to go in such high increments? Well, let's just see what happens if we do it at this speed, since the game doesn't seem to want us to move at any other speed. Now let's go three. Turn that off again. Three, kind of slowly going down. Okay, I think that's as far as this one can actually go, so now we have to start extending another one. Oh boy. How close are we? Oh, there's a little bounce there. Oh, it's reversing. Oops. I meant to turn it off, not reverse it. So far, so good. We haven't had any massive disasters. Oh, it's just above it. Let's turn it off. Oh, geez, it seems like it's so close. Oh, okay. I turned it off. So now the drill should just start chewing a little bit here, right? Okay. Let's slow that drill down. Let's slow that drill down right now. Let's slow it down. Decrease. Decrease the other way. There we go. Okay. Listen, drill. It seems like your rotor buddy here isn't actually going at the speed we wanted. Okay, it is. It's going at, let's just set it to negative 0.5. So it's a little bit faster. Oh my God, you see the issue here? Instead of it just taking a smooth chunk away the whole way it moves, it, because it only updates every now and again, it's being finicky. Okie dokie. Well, let's check our inventory really quickly, and let's search up the word ice. 
So far we've gotten apparently 43,000 ice from that. Which is kind of shocking, honestly. In that tiny little bit. I wonder if it hit somewhere else and I didn't notice it. Uh, let's go ahead and search for default over here because we're going to just move the ice over there. Yeah, it's clearly gathering ice. It must be getting it from here. Blimey, it's sure getting a lot more ice than I expected, yeah? See it the way it's like it ends up basically bumping into it and just sitting there. And then it takes a chunk out. So it's still very, very... Well, it's rubbish mining still. Instead of it just slowly taking out a whole layer here in this beautiful, like, slow cutaway, it's every update tick. It's They need to fix, change their system. They honestly just need to change their goddamn system. Uh, drill. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and lower this down a little bit more, I guess. So, number five, a little bit more, that'll do. And now this should have an impact right here. You can see it took out a little tiny little bit. Again, it's update chunks. Every now and again you see it cut away a little tiny, like right there, a little tiny bit more. But it's not doing it in a very ideal fashion. It should just be smooth. It should have be each drill can move at a certain rate. It'll deform the train at a certain speed. And you'd think, given how big these are, they'd be going a little bit quicker. I'm also starting to realize we might have a problem here with this center sort of pumping it right here. Uh, I guess a way around that would have been if we had... Hmm... The yellow and the green ones set up as they are, and then they have these space blocks moved over one for these other two gray pylons. That way it would make sure it got rid of these center blocks right here, because as it is right now, we might end up needing to go back to the drawing board a little tiny bit and retweak it to make sure we get rid of those. Of course, we just basically set our plan, but it still means we have to go ahead and grind down all of these drills that are currently floating here. Let's go ahead and actually move this down a little bit more to see what happens. I don't think it'll shatter and break. If it does, like I said, we have a quick save. Now let's just see, will it actually get rid of... Okay, maybe we don't need to do that. Looks like we might be all right. It looks like it got rid of that big tall chunk right there. It could be the reason why we're seeing that so notably is just because these don't extend out as far. Like I said, we did remove the block limits, so we can now extend those out. I just haven't done that yet. As for the machine itself, it's getting a little tiny bit of torquing there every time the uh, rotor spins. It kind of appears that the rotor, instead of being at a constant, very slow speed, just sort of rotates a little bit, stops, rotates a little bit, stops, rotates a little bit, stops, which is, well, rather pathetic and unfortunate. I'm kind of in a mood today, apparently. Very grumpy mood, not in the mood for games to be failing me at all. Well, it looks like if it's clearing this, it's probably about ready to move it down a little bit more. So let's go ahead, press 5 again. There we go. We've let it go pretty far down, really. It looks like maybe two passes at this height will do the trick. We'll see. That was one pass, and this one will be coming along. And really, I could get really, really tricksy with all of this. Mm, we should check it over here to see how it does since it is lowered. We're probably getting a lot of stone now if you were to go ahead and search for stone. Yeah, fair amount of stone. Oddly enough... Oh, yeah, look, it's starting to push stuff into the cargo tanks. Cargo tanks? Cargo tanks of the flying sausage. We really need to get a stone sorter and offshooter as soon as possible, I guess. I'm thinking we might go ahead and put it sort of off the corners of a lot of these so it's dropping stone back down. Ah! Just remember, though, it does pick up its own stone, doesn't it, usually? So that won't help us at all if it's dropping it back into the pit. Really needs to be a machine in the vanilla game to sort of just get rid of stone. Because, of course, just tossing it out a little dropper, for one, the droppers throw them out in such shockingly small amounts, you need dozens upon dozens of them. And for two... Okay, it cleared out that pylon, sure enough. This is working pretty well. And for two... Um, well, it's just a huge annoyance to get rid of it because of that. I forgot what my real number two was going to be. I guess it was because of the lag that happens when you throw it out. That was my number two. I just didn't seem right saying it there. Odd. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to shut down everything. So let's go ahead and actually 
yeah let's go ahead and reverse turn number five back on and reverse its direction so it gets pulled up a little bit and make sure it's high enough so it can actually work on it there we go that looks good enough stop it right there then we go ahead and turn off our rotors and shut down our drills Alrighty, system all sorted. Our pop bar setup is kind of silly on the like one, two, three, everything's so spread out, but it is working so far. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is first and foremost, we're going to hop back in our ship. So let's hop out of the cockpit, hop back in the ship. I'm going to press Z to turn on our inertial dampeners. And um, maybe let's search up thrusters. These have all been shut off for some reason. I'm guessing... Wait, no, hold on. It's the ion thrusters we need. Those are all on, okay. You see that, guys? It said they were all on, so we're gonna quick save right now, since it says these are all on, and we're gonna press P. Okay, fine, it worked. That just scared the piss out of me. And we are still able to go up, which means even though we have this huge payload, we're still all right. You can see I did add some landing skiffs to the bottom of it. Light armor, because heavy armor is just such a faff to work with since it takes so much stuff. And I didn't feel like uh, buzzing about for 300 years getting that set up. Once we drop off the uh, ice and everything we have in with us, in with us, I was going to say inside us and then thought with us. Either way, once we drop that off, we're going to come back down here and add on the other drills that were missing there. And I think that should be good enough to get some serious work done. And I guess then we're just going to sit here and, well, fiddle in mine for quite a while. No Sage Cam, like I said, but I'll just use my footage. Go back up to our lovely little space paradise. And this is a very good thing we have all this because something I've noticed for, well, probably three, maybe four episodes now is that our hydrogen is pretty much out. We have maybe three tanks with any hydrogen left in them. And uh, I just haven't been pointing it out because I didn't really want to cause any sort of panic. But yeah, we've been low on hydrogen for a while now. Luckily, all the ice we're bringing back with us will go ahead and sort that issue out. Our biggest issue now, though, is going to be finding a way to dispose of that stone. <sighs> and how the hell we're going to get rid of it, I have no clue at all, honestly. I'm actually quite irritated at that. Like I said, it would be nice if there was some sort of vanilla something to better get rid of it, instead of having to build huge rays to just throw stone out into space and lag your game out. And locked in place. Cool. Let's go ahead and now sort that stone system out. Actually, let's go ahead and actually shut off our inertial dampeners too. That way the ship isn't uh, wasting power trying to keep itself in place. Even though they're on, I think it won't burn too much, considering down on the planet they actually shut themselves off visually. Um, as for getting rid of stone, I guess for the time being, we could dedicate one of these to stone storage, but I don't think we want to really do that. I think what we want to do is just make sure it doesn't get refined by throwing it out in the space. ASAP. Um, where do we want to install a giant thrower out? We know that under this, we're going to have a huge gap here, and then we're going to install our drill thing. Uh, what about elsewhere? God almighty. Well, I can't think of a spot to put it right now, but hey, just for a heads up, our ice is being sorted out. And now those bottles down here are not, should no longer be the ones with uh, any hydrogen in them, hopefully. Hopefully the rest of these will, up here will start filling up as well. They probably are, but just at such a tiny, minuscule amount. 17%, yeah. Well, luckily, we're going to be gathering tons and tons of ice down there from, uh, well, all that ice. Oh god, this thrower outer thing. I guess we're just gonna have to stick it out on the end of one of these pylons here. Eh, maybe after we fix one of them. It's really annoying the idea that we're gonna have to run piping all the way out here, and it's just gonna be sort of a random, not exactly symmetrical, beautiful thing. Oh, I hate it so much! But the fact is, we're gonna be on planet, so it has to be somewhere that's gonna be far away from the center point. If we were going to be mining asteroids only with this thing, I would simply go ahead and be placing it up on top somewhere there so we could throw it out that way and that way. In fact, we could kind of do that because I suspect stone is the absolute bottom tier for stuff that's going to be refined. So long as it's the bottom tier, we should actually be all right on just stockpiling it until we get into space and then we'll throw it out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're no longer gonna have a big grinding machine right here like we were talking about at one point for salvaging ships. We're just gonna go ahead and put a huge disgusting array in to go throwing all this stuff out. And we'll make it go up a few. So one, two, 
Let's go three. Three, and then we'll use this junction here maybe for some uh, um, ions for rusters. And then let's go one here. Let's bump it out and out again. That way I can have some thrusters mounted here above this facing either way as well. And then we're going to go ahead and just start putting in a huge, disgusting array. So one, two, three. Alrighty, and I think I've decided that there was a minor mistake right here. I'm going to remove these and put sorters in. That way we can be sure that only stone is going to be thrown into those. That way we can set the uh, connectors to collect all and throw it out without any worry of any sort of other food bombs or anything like that. So sorter, uh, and then for some reason there's a difference here. Whatever. Uh, I remember now, yes. Plop you that way, and plop you that way. We're also seeming to have some serious lag here now whenever we place a block, so the game might be getting near what would have been a block limit for just our stuff placed as well, which is, well, pathetic, again, because our ship ain't that fracking big. Not really. Anyway, before I put these in, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the flying sausage and weld that all up. That way we can actually get to it, you know. I really do feel it's some grade-A lazy-ass bullshit. When the dev says, look, we cannot optimize our system, it's just not possible to make it work with a million blocks, so you're going to have to just deal with, well, what we give you, and having the whole system lag out. And the funny thing is, it's not a graphical issue, because we have thousands of blocks or whatever, and our FPS is still decent at, a, I don't know, a 90-something up here in space, even when looking at all this ship. So it just bugs the crap out of me that they say, look, it's not going to get optimized, just have block limits. That's what's going to happen, because our system somehow lags out when you have so much stuff stuck together. And you know that oxygen system, that really cool, innovative thing we put in the game? Well, you know, that's going to be off by default now. But those asteroids, those really boring, really uninteresting system that just requires you to have lots of turrets and lots of ammo, that, that's going to be on by default, even though it's one of the least interesting things out there, because it's just a... Basically, you need to build turrets and keep mining for ammo. There's no like, oh, we're going to get to a certain point and just be fine with it. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing like that. The reason I am so very salty about this in this moment is just because every time we put a single one of these in there, I'm not sure if I did fast forward or just skip the footage, but it does a huge lag spike chunk where the game basically freezes for a little tiny half a second, and it is, um, well, most definitely not enjoyable at all. Okay, we need good stuff to weld up stuff stuff. Alrighty, there we go. Let's try not to be so salty, eh? Let's think positive. So, I've gone ahead and colored all of these red, placed all the connectors that are going to act as our stone removers on this side in, and let's go ahead and weld those up lickety-split-like. And it would appear we ran out of the needed material to actually finish it. Let's go see what material is it that we ran out of for all these buggers. Compu we actually ran out of computers. All right. Well, that's not too bad, honestly, considering that we should have a billion and one computers stored down here. Uh, I think we're going to actually go ahead, though, and grab ourselves some computers and actually build a... Well, a few of these, I guess, on our way up. We can just finish them off since they take two seconds. But at the very top, we're going to just build a connector to lock ourselves in there and make sure our ship can pull the needed supplies really quickly, and then we'll grind the connector down once everything is welded up. Luckily, the sorter isn't really set up to do anything yet, so it should be able to pull stuff through that connector we just plopped in. Also, I think I might have miscounted the other side. Yep, that's definitely smaller than the other one. Eh, this needs to be green blue. In all honesty, uh, you cannot blame me for some of these being uneven just because look at that lag when I play stuff. It's impossible to think when you're getting hit with lag waves like that. I'm sure you all know how it is. If you start lagging like that, it's just your mind cannot comprehend what you're doing. You lose all immersion and, well, it's just inconsistent. Inconsistent. Oh good, it looks like we've run out of yet another resource. I'm going to go ahead and try to finish as many of these as I can before going back and figuring out what that missing resource is. Uh, that way we can, well, make sure we have enough built. And yeah, I should probably dock the ship too before we do all of that. That way it'll automatically go ahead and be sorted into the structure of ours prior to us coming back and trying to finish this. So there we go, all those done. I went flying way too high up. <laughs> I forget I have all those large thrusters on the bottom, so whoopsie doo landy! It goes shooting me up way faster than I expect. It really is helpful when you have equal thrust in every direction when you're doing space 
travel because then it's, you accelerate and get basically halfway to your target and then you just start decelerating and you know you're gonna well you, you know you'll stop right when you get there pretty much Ooh, there we go let's go see what we ran out of small steel tube really we ran out of small steel tubes wow I didn't expect that. Let's go see if there's any left. Not small, small. There we go. Uh, I'd say yes, there are quite a few small steel tubes left, so I guess we just didn't restock fully after we built those. Either that or it's not pulling them through correctly. That's a possibility. Uh, small steel tubes. So, this is a flying sausage cargo container right here, and small steel tube. So yeah, just didn't get enough, I guess. Blink. Let's go ahead and finish it off. Lickety split. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and maneuver our ship over to the side so it's out of the way. And we're actually going to go ahead and stick in a gravity generator here, because if we didn't, of course, the oars would probably come out of here with a little bit of speed. But I'm not sure they would actually go flying. In fact, you know, we might as well test it first. Uh, so let's just leave the ship right here. Da -da -da. Hop out of that. We'll go ahead and disable this little guy right here. And actually, frankly, we're going to probably remove it. Uh, do we have enough inventory space to actually remove it? Uh, it looks like we might just. Just barely. Oh, no, we didn't. But whatever. We'll just leave a few metal plates sitting there. Let's go ahead and make some groups real quick. Alrighty, we've got a few groups set up. Uh, and I've just given ownership to everything. Let's go ahead and set you to have a whitelist. Of the one and only fantastic material known in this game as, well, I guess gravels after it's been refined. So stone. We just need stoon. There we go. Stone. Add to you. Coolion. So that's whitelisted. So it'll only go through there with stone. And you as well need the whitelist of stone. Got you. Lickety split. And now we can go ahead and tell you to drain all. And same with you, kind other unit. Drain all. And now we can go ahead and do this remotely. I think we're within 200 meters of the antennae. So we can go ahead, select the iron virus. Interesting that we couldn't select our other ship. I mean, we don't have an antenna on there after all. Uh, go ahead and find underscore R. So we got all those guys. And go ahead and tell you to collect all and throw out. So you're now going to pull as much stone as you can and throw it out. And it should only allow stone through the other thing. Coolio, and you see it does throw it out with a little bit of speed. Just the tiniest bit of speed, but a little bit of speed nonetheless. Let's also do the same for underscore B. So, got you. Uh, collect all and throw out. So there we go. All of these will now be throwing stone out as quickly and efficiently as I can. And we'll have this big, wonderful lag cloud up here, but yeah, as long as we're not in a planet's atmosphere, this will actually work pretty well. If we're in a planet's atmosphere, of course, we're probably doomed, but we're going to have to just remember to shut these off when we're uh, not out here floating about in the world. Alrighty, well, let's empty our inventories right now, and I think that was just about doing it for today. Drop all that off. Cool. Yo, did you see that? Did you see that? I hate it that it does that. Yeah, it took one of our tanks. Even though the tank was up there, because I double-clicked here as it was getting rid of everything, somehow this goes down there for one millisecond and then gets sucked out as well. Very annoying. Oh, all the stone's gone. Okay, that's odd. I guess it must have um, just taken all the stone we had, split it up evenly between the two sorters, and it's threw it all out here. And all the blocks that were floating there, since it started up... Yeah, since it started up first, were despawned once this number of them ended up floating out here. Anyway, we now have a solution to our stone issue. It took a little bit, but A, it's done. And we can, of course, keep building above this and continuing to build more and more upon the flying virus. Alrighty, as I said, that'll about do it for today. I think that was pretty successful. We got ourselves our mining installation working. Next up, we need to go ahead and just keep running that a while. I might do that off screen and just save the footage, maybe show it, maybe not. Either way, proof of concept, it works. If it doesn't work and it gets into trouble, well, maybe we'll have another montage video like we had before. Either way, though, our hydrogen supply is now going to slowly be refueling, so we should be pretty decently off. Yeah, you can see one of those actually had a little light in it, and I just poked my screen. Alrighty, 
Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. If you like this video, I would ask that you kindly like it. If you dislike this video, I'd ask that you dislike it and leave a comment as to why. I also, of course, have a Patreon and PayPal donation things in the bottom if you like those. But, of course, I don't really need you to do that. I need you to just like it if you like it and share, maybe. That way I can survive. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, oh, plugging for money made me feel guilty. That's where I'm going with this. Oh, thanks for watching, guys and girls. I'll see you all next time. Ta-da.